Defense lawyers of Huawei technology CFO Meng Wanzhou argue she should not be dispatched to the U.S. because her alleged crimes don't meet Canada's legal tests for extradition. This is the latest in the extradition hearing that only just begun. But our next guest has been speaking about ways Canada can put an end to the entire process. Joining us is John Manley. He's the senior advisor, or is a senior advisor, Bennett Jones, and the former deputy prime minister under Premier Jean Chrétien. Good morning, Mr. Manley. Thank you very much for joining us. Hi, Francis. Uh, let's start with this. Uh, we can get to the trial in a second, but you have been vocal in suggesting that there should be an exchange for uh, the CFO of uh, Huawei and the two Michaels, as they're called, uh, that are being held in China. Uh, tell us why you believe that is a um, logical, maybe uh, efficacious way to get over this issue. Well, truthfully, I think it might be the only way to resolve it. Um, I, it this, is, this is a complicated piece of business, and there are a number of aspects to it. But I think it is uh, clear that uh, Chinese authorities uh, took the two Michaels into custody in response to uh, Madame Meng being uh, arrested in Vancouver and held on, these, on this extradition application by the United States. So. In, I don't think there's too much doubt uh, that these two events are directly related. So uh, I, I think it's important to understand that she is a very, very important person in China, uh, that having taken her, uh, the Chinese don't really uh, see it our way at all. Um, and uh, so if we're going to do anything to liberate those two young men who, quite honestly, have done nothing wrong and are really victims only of, of the actions of the Canadian government, I think the key lies in, in, in an exchange of, of her for them. It, Chinese obviously have to agree to that, um, and that's another step along the way. But uh, I think we need to move uh, reasonably quickly, and I would be... Uh, hoping that the Canadian government has this well uh, under advisement and is taking the steps that are necessary to do so. I think they have the legal authority to do it. Um, uh, but what is and, the uh, uh, what, to me it's the only way to get these young men out of prison what are the international implications and international I mean with our other great trading party the u s what would their reaction be to that kind of exchange? Well, you know, you, we won't know until it happens. Um, this is a country that imposed tariffs on our steel and aluminum uh, because we were a security threat to the United States. So, you know, the very close and special relationship we've long had uh, has already frayed a little bit. I'm inclined of the, to the view that uh, whatever their reaction would be, that they would get over it. I think this is the kind mm -hmm. of exchange that Donald Trump himself would probably uh, line up to do uh, the because he's, you know, a very strong negotiator and he likes to make deals. So I think he'd understand this, but I don't think that he's going to do anything for us. I think the effort to persuade him not to sign the stage one trade agreement with China until they were released was uh, something that was not going to fly. And clearly, uh, he shrugged that uh, off, uh, really taking it completely as a, as a throwaway asked by the prime minister. Uh, do you think uh, how uh, the, we have a new ambassador to China, Dominic Barton? Um, how is he doing? Uh, how is he performing his new job in your view? Well, I think he is the best possible person the government could have found to take on this role at this moment. I don't think those, there's any doubt that as uh, as head of McKinsey, he had better access in China than he does as ambassador for Canada, um, and uh, that he is undoubtedly off to a slower start than would have been the case had he been appointed three years ago before any of these troubles began. So I think he's got his work cut out for him, um, but I, I, think, I don't think you could have found a better person, quite frankly, Francis, and I, and I know that he is deeply concerned about the well-being of the Michaels. Uh, Mr. Manley, I'm sorry, we're going to have to um, stop it there. We have the Prime Minister speaking uh, from the retreat 